It's the earliest I've ever been out. And what I'm learning in the moment is the earlier the better. You probably just heard that one truck going by. That's all I've heard too. That right there, that's the last street light out on the west edge of town. I'm happy to be beyond it. We're going further beyond it still. But today, the last day of June, year of our Lord 2023, I actually do have a sort of planned out agenda for what I want to say to you. What I want to say to you is sort of a story in four acts in reverse chronological order. I want to tell you about the truth of my night, the truth of my yesterday, the truth of my month, and the truth of the last decade plus, let's say. The truth of my night is a happy story. So, you know, I've uh, been trying to go to bed super early and get up super early and it's been a struggle what's been happening typically I'll get to bed on time and then five hours or so later I'll need to get up to go take care of those biologicals and I won't be able to get back to sleep but the truth of my last night is that by accident or divine intervention I got up took care of my business felt like I wasn't going to be able to go back to sleep and then the cat led the way she curled up in the warm spot that I had just vacated in getting out of bed and she demanded in her quiet little way a bit of attention so I climbed back into the warm spot with her and I gave her that attention and I slept again until after three I got my seven plus almost eight hours Both because I was prepared to, but mostly because the cat made it possible. There's probably some kind of lesson there about the relationships in our lives and how as aggravating as they can be at times, as much work as they can be, they're going to pay off in benefits in unexpected ways sometimes too. So that is the truth of my night. It was wildly successful <laughs> in terms of what I wanted to get done. The truth of my day yesterday, on the other hand, that's another kettle of fish. The day started off 
in the kind of negative way I just described where I got up too early and wasn't able to get back to sleep and I did my job I did my walk I did my filming I did my editing I did my uploading but after that I was pretty much shot I didn't feel like doing anything and I didn't really do anything so the interesting thing to me about that yesterday was what I did while I wasn't doing anything. And what I did was essentially try and promote the video that I created. And it didn't work at all. So in the course of the morning the late morning and the early afternoon and the late afternoon. I, of course, watched what was happening to the numbers on yesterday's video. The matter was that I didn't have any views on that video. There was my own view there was the single dependable view of the lady I love, complete with its like. But after that, nobody watched the damn thing. Finally, late in the day, one person, and I have no idea who that was, broke down and gave it a view. Thanks, whoever you are. You saved me from a total shutout. And then, of course, I went over to the Twitter to promote it. Clearly unsuccessfully. And at the end of the day, I broke down. And I thought, all right. Something's got to change. The Twitter algo <laughs> is clearly uh, asking me to spend some money in order to put eyeballs on my posts. So let's look into that. And I went and I clicked on verify, which means to subscribe with the full intention of sending Elon 10 bucks for a month just to see if that was in any way going to be worth it. But instead of being allowed to push my $10 through to the man, I got this cryptic message about how I was blocked, blocked from being able to change my email or phone number, which of course I wasn't trying to do. But anyway, the cryptic message wouldn't let me go any further. And I didn't spend $10 and I did not get promoted like a good blue check subscriber. Nobody watched. And my attempts to engineer some views ended in complete and total failure. I'm going to move on next to the story of my month, the month of June. The month of June started off in a very promising way. Instead of my normal 9 or 11, 12 views, my videos were getting 20, 30, 40 views. And I think one of the major reasons for that was that 
a lot of those early month videos were travel videos. So, for example, I got a certain number of people coming in based on searching about Farmington, New Mexico, or on arched cabins over in Timberon. And that was enough to pump me from 10 to 20 to 30 to 40. The single most successful video in the month of June was the one about Silver City. And that's pretty understandable because there's a lot of people right now who are interested in visiting and possibly relocating to Silver City. There's something about that place that appeals to a lot of people, especially now. So that video had over 150 views, it had five likes, and it had one dislike, which is that one dislike is pretty precious to me too, because it means that even though somebody for whatever reason didn't like what I did, they watched it anyway, and they were engaged with it, and they at least were moved <laughs> enough to tell me that sucked, which was great. But after that burst that was primarily driven by the travel videos and the appeal that those had, things began to get worse and worse. The average views on the videos dropped back down to like 12. And then they just kept dropping. They went from 12 to 10 to 7. And yesterday, it says 3 right now, as I checked this morning. But really, that amounts to one. And again, thanks, whoever you are. But we're moving in the wrong direction, right? And it doesn't seem like there's a way out. I've been succeeding by my own terms. I've been getting up earlier and earlier but it's not doing me any good. So, in order to sort of frame and understand that, I'm going to think about the last decade of my life. So, in that period, from let's say about 2011 to 2015, my life reached a sort of high water mark I took classes. They were only the classes I wanted to take. The subject of the classes was writing. I had no intention of getting a degree. I thought that taking writing classes would leverage my natural ab abilities as a student to, uh, you know, turn in assignments and therefore I would be uh, forcing myself to do good work, to write. And then in 2015, I started my blog. So it wasn't quite what you see today at verterra.com, but if you look at verterra.com slash spill, down in the sidebar, uh, you will see a, a link to the site where I started that first blog. And I called it the Daily Spill, meaning that it really didn't matter how good it was on any given day, but that I would come and write every single day. October 4th, 2015. The birth of the Daily Spill. My life as a middle-class person, as a professor, started to unravel at that point in ways that I couldn't see coming 
right away, but all through the hell that I was about to go through, I kept writing. I kept spilling. There was never any major interest in what I was doing. No Black Sparrow press guy came by to scoop me up as an official professional author, but that didn't matter because I had the money problem solved by professoring and with the rent paid, with the car payment over with, I was in tall clover and it didn't matter if my blog made any money. That was never the purpose of it in the first place. I just needed a vehicle to focus myself and be compelled to do the work. And that was all going fine. And in the aftermath of the wreckage of my professoriate, where the money did not come easy and then didn't come at all, I kept writing. And eventually, I got to the point where I started filming. And now that walking and filming is my daily spill. It, it leads to a bit of obsession about those numbers and about how successful this really is. None of which should matter, but it, it got me to thinking the money problem is no longer solved. Love for me is not enough to compel the attention of anyone. Maybe the truth of who I am cannot compel and sustain an audience. Maybe you're sick of my shit. That has to be considered now as a real possibility. Solutions have to be found. Is the solution to be found in directly monetizing my art? At this point, I have to say, God damn it, probably not. I'm not that charismatic. I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you've noticed, but right now I do have an audience. There's two big black birds in that tree. There's two more right there. And there's two more right there. Those are the six I can see. That is my audience in the moment. So I speak to you, my assembled avians, waiting for the coming of the sun, waiting for the warmth, what are we going to do about this? Reach out your little talons. Tap the keyboard. Tell me all about your thoughts in the comments section below. <laughs> the long term... I throw upon the bosom of the Lord to take care of itself. Amen.